The shovel is a key item in Sons of the Forest and is required to get the shotgun as well as the maintenance keycard. We will also be getting several other unique pieces of gear along the way. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. To get the shovel, you'll first need to acquire both the rope gun and the rebreather. The rope gun is located in a cave that is near the crash site that I got while playing on normal difficulty, but here is a picture of the full map and the approximate location of the cave in case your crash site is somewhere else on the map. To help orient yourself, you can click the middle mouse button or scroll wheel while you have your GPS out to zoom in and out of the map. The entrance to the cave is boarded up, but you can use a weapon to break it open. Use your lighter or a torch if you can craft one, and begin journeying into the cave. The mutants inside will quickly become hostile so make sure you have a spear ready to switch to. As a quick bonus, you can find a cross, ammo, and materials near a floodlight along the wall of the first cavern. As another tip, you can harvest the mutant bodies for creepy armor which can be equipped to absorb hits from enemies. My initial walkthrough of this cave on normal difficulty was hard to follow, so I re-recorded new footage on peaceful difficulty and that is why you won't see any enemies in my gameplay. Further into the cave you'll find some bodies with time bombs laying nearby. Use these or a frag grenade to blow up the sluggy blocking your path. Carefully make your way forward and clear out the next cavern of mutants. Ahead, you'll find a strange cave painting, which I'm not really sure what it means. In any case, keep heading through the cave and you'll next run across some creepy mutant babies that take several pokes with a spear to dispatch. Following this, you'll begin descending down a shallow, cramped incline. Again, you'll run into more dangerous mutants, so be on guard. The next checkpoint in the cave will be skeletal remains hanging from the ceiling by a glassy material. Further along will be more creepy baby mutants and a somewhat obscure crevice that you can crawl through to proceed forward. Up the path to the left you'll find some more materials, but taking the path down to the right will lead you to another encounter with mutant babies as well as some regular sized mutants.
At the end of this final area, you will find the rope gun. Pick it up and use it to ride a zipline shortcut to an unmarked exit from this cave after defeating a few more mutants in the way. The rebreather is located within a marked cave near a river delta. Here is the location of the cave on the full map in case you are having trouble finding it from your location. The sun just so happened to be setting as I arrived, but I don't think this cave entrance should be too difficult to find, especially in broad daylight. You'll just need to break the wooden planks blocking the cave to enter. You'll need to clear several mutants in the first major cavern. There are also lots of bones in this area, and so if you have a good amount of duct tape and rope, you can make several pieces of bone armor to equip yourself with. From this large cavern, there are two main paths you can take. The path to the right that ascends up will lead to an encounter with more standard mutants, followed by baby mutants, and eventually leads to the stun gun. You'll want to backtrack to the start of the path that led to the stun gun, then take the alternative path that descends deeper into the cave before curving back up a little. You'll need to duck and squeeze through a narrow passage to reach a cavern with a deep pool of water. Down near the water, there is the rebreather emitting a bright light. You can pick up the rebreather and dive down into the water, then locate and traverse the underwater tunnel to emerge back out on the surface near the coastline. Once you have both the rope gun and the rebreather, make your way to the marked cave on the map near the base of the snow-capped mountains. Here's the approximate cave location on the full map. There is a slingshot on one of the bodies outside, and it's probably a good idea to save the game before entering. To cross the pit over to the first cavern, you'll need to use the rope gun. After looting the equipment in this location, head down into the water and through a steep, narrow passageway. You'll emerge into another cave area, this one teeming with hostile mutants. Frag grenades are definitely recommended here, but make sure you save a few for later on. Once you've cleared out this cavern, you can make your way to the top of it where you'll find a unique wetsuit outfit along with an air tank. A short distance ahead, you'll fall onto a slippery slope that will take you down to a new area of the cave. Once again, proceed carefully as there are a fair number of mutants here. Past a couple of deceased miners, you can jump over some stalagmites to reach a secret underwater passageway. Coming out of the first part of that passageway, turn up to your right to emerge into what is probably the most dangerous section of this cave. It is crawling with at least a dozen intermediate mutants, the ones with two torsos and the ones with the torsos split open. 
Once you've cleared the infestation, look around and you are sure to find a corpse that is clutching a flashlight attachment. Pry it from their cold dead hand and you can put it on any gun that is equipped with an attachment rail. Return to the underwater passageway and go in a straight line through it. You'll have to fight your way through a handful of remaining mutants, but at long last you'll reach the end of this cave system where the shovel is waiting. As you backtrack your way out, a sluggy will blow a new hole in one of the walls. Blow up the sluggy to access a quicker way out of the cave. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday and a great weekend, and as always, Thanks for watching.